Dive in with me as we unravel a common myth that has haunted many for years, the fear of shark attacks. It's a widely held belief that encounters with these marine predators are frequent and fatal. Yet, the reality couldn't be further from the truth. Each year, the number of unprovoked shark attacks worldwide is astonishingly low. In fact, you're more likely to be struck by lightning than to fall prey to a shark. Now let's flip the coin. Consider the danger we pose to these creatures. Overfishing, pollution, and accidental catches, these human activities are a far greater menace to sharks. They're not the villains they're often portrayed to be, but rather, they are victims of our actions. These apex predators play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our oceanic ecosystems. So, as we can see, the fear of shark attacks is largely unfounded and blown out of proportion. Now let's delve deeper into our minds and unravel the psychology behind our fear of sharks. The image of a shark with its sharp teeth and penetrating gaze has been ingrained in our collective consciousness as a symbol of terror. But where does this fear come from? A significant part of the answer lies in the way sharks are portrayed in the media. The entertainment industry with films like Jaws and Sharknado has painted sharks as bloodthirsty predators lurking beneath the waves, waiting for their next human meal. This portrayal has been so influential that it has shaped our perception of these creatures, making them the villains of the sea. But let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. In the realm of psychology, there's a concept known as fear conditioning. This is a form of learning where fear is associated with a particular neutral context or object. In this case, the object is the shark. The fear conditioning occurs when we watch these terrifying depictions of sharks in movies or on TV, and our brain begins to associate sharks with fear. So the next time we see a shark, even if it's just an image, our brain triggers a fear response, and there's more. Another psychological aspect amplifying our fear of sharks is the unknown and our lack of control. The ocean is a vast, mysterious place, home to creatures we know very little about. When we step into the water, we are stepping into their world. We are out of our element, and this feeling of vulnerability and lack of control can heighten our fear. But here's the thing, fear is not always rooted in reality. In fact, it often isn't. The likelihood of being attacked by a shark is extremely low. You are more likely to be struck by lightning or win the lottery than to be bitten by a shark. Yet our fear persists, not because of the actual risk, but because of our perception of the risk. So next time you find yourself feeling a shiver of fear at the thought of sharks, remember this. Our fear is not a reflection of the danger that sharks pose to us. Rather, it is a testament to the power of our minds and the stories we tell ourselves. It's clear that our fear of sharks is more a product of our imagination and less a reflection of reality. Having debunked the myth and understood the psychology, it's time to pose a thought-provoking question. Sharks, often portrayed as bloodthirsty predators, are in fact the unsung heroes of our oceans. They play an indispensable role in maintaining the health of oceanic ecosystems. As apex predators, they regulate the food chain and ensure the diversity and balance of marine life. But what happens when the hunter becomes the hunted? Human activities such as overfishing and accidental catches are driving many shark species towards extinction. The repercussions of their decline ripple through our oceans, leading to the collapse of entire ecosystems. So here's the question. Can we overcome our deep-seated fear of sharks and contribute to their conservation? It's not just about saving these magnificent creatures, but about preserving the balance of life beneath the waves. So, isn't it time we reevaluate our fears and start seeing sharks not as our enemies but as a crucial part of our natural world?